Assalamu alaikum boys and girls, how are you today? Today we're gonna learn three more letters and we're gonna learn how to join them together and with our old letters from last week. And I hope you have done your homework and you have done your uh, practice. Okay. Uh, we're going to start reviewing like I promised you every week. We're gonna try to learn by heart. I'm going to point to a letter and you're going to say it to me in three seconds, okay? And uh, for one month, I'm going to break, break it down to two seconds, okay? Then I'm going to make it one second. So you need to be fast. That's how you're going to be uh, able to read fast. So let us start. I'm going to point, wait for three seconds and then you're going to tell me, okay? Then I will say it. Okay, let's start from here. Yeah. Ha. Mim. Kaf. Alif. Ta. Jim. Kha. Dan. Okay, let's go here. Kaf, Rain, Va, very good. Let's go here. Ra, Sin, good job. Saad, you got it. Go to Wow Noon Lem Va Rain Let's go here Zay Sheen. Dog. Very good. Ta. Ha. I'm sorry. Ha. Dal. Ta. Very good job. So. I hope you are getting better and increasing your speed. And every time you're going to be better and better. For now, let's go to the classroom to see what Skook is up to and take our new letters and uh, practice more reading, okay? Okay, my friends, let's go. Assalamualaikum Kuku, how are you? I know, I heard you have been practicing the whole week. Patata, tabata, basata. Good job, Kuku, you need to practice, okay? Today we're going to have three more letters. You're going to learn how to join them, how they're shaped in the beginning, middle, and end, and how they can come in the word. Okay, these are Jim, Ha, and Ha. Jim. Original shape of Jim, we know, we write Jim like this. And I still emphasize on the line the way I do it. Ha in the big original and ha original. And in Arabic, I think when you want to join, which is what the letters do, they change shape either by they opening their arms or they, uh, they just have to add some join in between them. For the gym, I'm going to use again my Play-Doh. The Play-Doh is going to be a very good trick to help you. Very good way of learning. And again, I'm going to have my wiggly Play-Doh, like a worm. And you're going to try to make it the same like this one. Okay, I'm going to give it a pinch here. You're going to stretch it 
and here is your gene. Something, somehow, like a gene. Okay? So this is your gene. And then, you're going to have a dot in the bottom. Right? This is the gene bottom. Then, you're going to have your half. Again, you have to make a wiggle here. You pinch the corner. Okay? And then you go and push to, to let it stick to the board. Okay? You need to push it so it can stick to the board. This is your ha. Okay? And just give it a little bend at the top here. Okay? And then this is for ha. You need to make it a little bit longer. This. Make it a little bit longer. And this is the ha. Again, like that. Give it a pinch. And this is our ha. And the ha has which dot? Which dot? Where? Top. Team ha and ha. Now we just try to make it look to look like uh, as a ha or a ha or a gym. And now we, what do you think? If a gym wanted to join with other letter, okay? Say um, the gym wanted to join with, let's see my Play-Doh. Maybe the gym wanted to join with a bath. Okay, the gym wanted to join with the bath. Okay, so here is the bath. This is the bath. Jim is going to join with the bath. Okay. And then let us see other letter maybe. Jim want to join with the set. And so on. Self. That's three dots. One, two, three. And now the gym wanted to join. So what's she gonna do? She's gonna need to open her arm, right? That we do when we join, we open our arms. So here the gym open her arms. So that's simple. So the gym was a wiggle in the bottom, and now she opened her arm and became straight. So she can play the joining game. And now does the bat have to open the arm from here? No. He has only to put a join. So the, the, she's going to have to make a join. Okay? And she's going to join with the G. But how the bat going to join with the sack? Yes. She's going to have to open her arm. Does the sack have to open her arm? No. She's going to have to join here. So this is how we join and make words. So now can we read this? Jim, Ba, and Tha. So we're going to be joined here. How are we going to do it? It's going to be Ja, Ba, Tha. Good job. And that's all. So here, the Ha is going to join, say, in the middle. She's going to have to open also. Right? She's going to have to open. And here, she's going to join from here, right? Say the ha want to join at the end. Will she open her arm on the left side? No. She will remain as this. Ha, but she has to make a join like this. Okay? So she can 
join. So they both they gonna have the same shape, jim, ha, and ha, beginning, middle, and end, and that is how we join letters and how we read. Okay, you got it now. So let us do it on the board with our actual read. Okay. Now jim in the beginning we say it's gonna open, so it's gonna be like this, right? Ha is going to open in the beginning, going to be like this. Ha is going to open, her arm become like this. Easy, right? The middle is the same. She's going to have a join first and then open. Same like this, only she's going to add the join. Okay? This has to be on the line. Join and then ha, middle. And then a join and then ha, middle. At the end, does she gonna open her arm? No, she gonna stay the same because there is nothing on the left side to join to. We're gonna have make a join and a G. A join and a ha. A join and a ha. Got it? Is it that easy? Very simple. You only need to learn um, the trick. You don't have to memorize in shape. No, you just, just know. You need to know how to do it. Okay, let us write three words. Let's write G, B, and Ha. Let's join them. So we're going to write G, open it, and then the join. A ba has to join and open the left arm. So join, B, open the arm. Ha, join, and open. No. It's going to be closed. Okay? So can you read this word? J. What sound the G mix? J. What sound the B mix? B. B. What sound the Ha mix? Ha. Ha. So how is it going to be? J. B. Ha. J. B. Ha. J. B. Ha. J. B. Ha. And that's easy. And there is no meaning for the word Jabaha, just scrambling the rest of the letter. So let us try try to have the, the ba in the beginning. Let's have the the kha in the middle. And then jim at the, at the end. So how are we going to write it? Ba, open, join, kha, open, join, jim is close, join. And how we read it? B H J sound. B H J B H J B H J. Very good. One more last one. Let's have H in the beginning. G in the middle. Okay. And H at the end. So let's have them together in one word. So we can see how they shape together. So H is gonna open. Join, Jim is gonna open, join, and then Ha is gonna stay the same. So, can we read it? And that's how we read. So, now today we learned the Jim Han Ha, how they are uh, written in the middle, beginning, and end, and how we can join them together or with other. Letters. As I promised you from last week, I said you're going to do your homework and uh, today is the spelling time. I say to you, you need, I'm going to give you like five seconds to write your letter. And it's going to be for the part in the book I said to be done in the classroom. Uh, teacher or parent will call the letters and then you will uh, write them. So I want you to listen carefully and I want you to write on number one. Next to number one, write ha, ha, number two, I want you to write cough, cough, remember, the top of the, the throat, back of the tongue, touching the soft palate, cough. Off. Oh, 
Rain. 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 Remember? The, the bottom, the top of your, of your throat. The machine for rain. Number four, blood, blood. Number five, ein, ah, ah, ein. She choked and said, ah, ein. Number six, va, va, va. Number seven, sod, sod, sod. Number eight, Ta, ta, ta. Remember, it's not ta. No, it is ta, ta, ta. And uh, that's it for today's letter. I just want to remind you, parents, that uh, for people who live in a country out of the United States, now uh, the book is available to be shipped internationally. I'm so glad uh, for that. So more people. Uh, can benefit because this book is very important. You have the book and you have a teacher that, that teach you the same book, which is uh, something very, very, uh, very good about this program. That we have the book and you have the teacher, and it's free after all. You only have to buy the book, and everything is free. I hope you will uh, take advantage of this. Uh, the free, uh, the international uh, offer is available on eBay. So if you go to eBay and search the name of the book, uh, little Reader, Three Steps Towards Reading Quran, uh, or the ISPN number, you're going to find it uh, on, one of, on all the videos I have for this uh, program. You're going to find the detail, the name of the book, and you're going to find the ISPN number. You can put it either the ISPN number or uh, the name of the book on eBay. You, you will find it, and you uh, can buy the book if you, if you live out of the United States or in the United States. But uh, if you uh, want to buy from Amazon, Amazon uh, we don't ship internationally through Amazon. So you can, uh, if you live in the United States, we can ship um, the book to you uh, locally and you can order from either Amazon or from eBay. For now, I will leave you uh, with uh, the homework and classwork like we did last time. Do your work, practice reading, and that is how you're going to get perfect. And uh, I will see you next week, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullah.